Yo, I'm Nova Azuka, and welcome to Pokemon Fire Red. Um, I'm hoping this goes well because last time I tried to record, what ended up happening was I had no audio, so. Let's try again. The various buttons will be explained in the order of their importance. Blah, blah, blah. We know this. We know this as well. <clears throat> Hello there. Glad to meet you. This is a terrible Professor Oak. <clears throat> Hello there. Glad to meet you. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Oak. People affectionately refer to me as the Pokemon Professor. This world is inhabited far and wide by creatures called Pokemon. I just very quickly want to check voice mod. Voice changer is off. Good. Anyway. Is inhabited far and wide by po creatures called Pokemon. My voice has changed. For some people, Pokemon are pets. Others use them for battling. As for myself, I study Pokemon as a profession. You know, come to think about it, I'm pretty sure that's not supposed to be a Venomoth. <laughs> But first, tell me a little about yourself. Tell me, are you a boy or are you a girl? Let's begin with your name. What is it? We know we're going to call me Nova. We know I'm going to call myself Nova for this. Oh, you know what? Just in case. Safe state. I want to be absolutely sure that I don't <laughs> accidentally load a state from the old file. Because I'm going to have to overwrite that. Because I already freaking saved. Then I'll have to start completely over again. Hold on. Because then I'll have to start completely over again. And that's going to suck. This is my gra- <clears throat> <clears throat> This is my grandson. He's been your rival since you were both babies. Or since you both were babies. Uh. Sorry about that. Gotta recalibrate again. Um, what was his name now? Now, I could be that guy. And I could... Just go and name him Idiot or Doofus or some other terrible name like Loser. But, <laughs> you know what? This is what I'm going to do. I gotta recalibrate again. Because I am my own worst enemy. We are going to call him Nova. <laughs> That's right, I remember now His name is Nova Nova Your very own pro Pokemon legend is about to unfold A world of dreams and adventures with Pokemon awaits Let's go 
Rule number one, check the PC for items. And there's a potion that will come in very handy later. As far as I can tell, everything else is as it should be. Actually, we're not supposed to go this way yet. Now, logic would di dictate go this way, but no. For those of you who've somehow never seen the Gen 1 Pokemon games or their remakes, we have to go this way. Hey, wait! Don't go out! It's unsafe. Wild Pokemon live in tall grass. You need your own Pokemon for your protection. I know. Here, come with me. I forgot to mute my phone. There we go. Gramps, I'm fed up with waiting. Nova, let me think. Oh, that's right. I told you to come. Just wait. Here, Nova. <laughs> this is already amusing. There are three Pokemon here. <laughs> the Pokemon are held inside these Pokeballs. When I was young, I was a serious Pokemon trainer. But now in my old age, I have only these three left. You can have one. Go on. Choose. Hey, Gramps. No fair. What about me? Be patient, Nova. You can have one, too. Alrighty, then. What are our choices? They are... Um, that is not a Bulbasaur. That is a Sunkern. What the frick is going on? Is, is my game broken? Squirtle instead of Vol or I mean, Voltorb instead of Squirtle. I cannot freaking talk. And Zatu instead of Charmander. Okay, here's the thing. You're like, easy, just go Zatu. Well, here's the thing. My rival is going to ha end up with Voltorb then. Voltorb is going to evolve into Electrode. Logically speaking. I do not want to give him that kind of advantage in a Nuzlocke. And obviously, Sunkern is an automatic loss, I feel like. So, we gotta go Voltorb. This Pokemon is really quite energetic. Nova received the Voltorb from Professor Oak. I just realized the names are also lowercase now. Hmm. And we are going to name this Voltorb Red Button. If it ends up being shiny, I'm going to laugh because then it's no longer red. <laughs> I'd have to rename him Blue Button later. <laughs> That'd be freaking hilarious. Wait a minute. What happened to your name? My Pokemon look a lot tougher than yours. It's a Sunkern. It's not tougher. I could beat that thing without even taking a scratch of damage. Wait, Nova. Let's check out our Pokemon. Come on, I'll take you on. I gotta recalibrate. Should 
Gentleman Akuto sent out Sunkern. Uh, I wouldn't call him a gentleman. Just saying. Oh, for Pete's sake. So pushy as always. Nova, you've never had a Pokemon battle before, have you? A Pokemon battle is when trainers pit their Pokemon against each other. Yes, yes, we know this already. It's a numbers game. When your HP hits zero, you lose. <laughs> Wait a minute, I just realized the Sun Card's level six. Uh... <laughs> Why is his Sun Card automatically a higher level? Don't matter, as long as it just spams growth, we've got nothing to worry about. <laughs> Can you imagine trying to train up this Sun Kern? You know what, we should have looked at our stats. We should do that after the battle's over. You are not beating me. Frick you. Bye. <laughs> Sun Kern fainted. Red Button gained 66 experience points. Where defeated Gentleman Akuno. What? Unbelievable. I picked the wrong Pokemon. You think? You picked Sun Kern. If you'd picked Zatu, you could have destroyed me. Because guess what? Voltorb don't start with electric type moves. It sucks, but it's true. Hmm. Excellent. If you win, you earn prize money and your Pokemon will go stronger. Yes, we know this, Professor Oak. Okay. I'll make my Pokemon tougher to- or battle to toughen it up. Nova, Gramps, smell you later! Now would be a good time to press a fart button if I had that on my soundboard. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's take a good look at Red Button the Voltorb, since I've neglected to do that. We've got a held item. I'm pretty sure that's not normal. Timid Nature, holding TM42. I forget what move that is. Uh, Timid boosts speed and I think lowers attack. Yeah, we're not doing anything with that tackle, I don't think. Receive Team M42 from Red Button. And TM42 is Ice Beam. That is kind of overpowered. <laughs> that is kind of overpowered for this game. Or for this early on. Not gonna lie. I wish we could start with the rank... Um, why is Kegas God here? <laughs> are, are all the Pokemon randomized or something? I have concerns. Also, I do not want this as my first encounter because first Kegas God I ever remember having could not hit the broad side of a bar. It could not. And I hated every second of it. I think I was even a fire red or leaf green as well. You go through the trouble of catching a rare Pokemon like Kangaskhan and then not have it be able to hit anything. That. You don't want that. At all. I just realized I had not enabled the virtual camera yet. Oops. <laughs> oh well, let's just not worry about it. And let's run from this Kangaskhan because I'm trying not to get overleveled and kill my first encounter when I see it. Now, the Nuzlocke has not started yet because we not have got we have not gotten our Pokeballs. Mm. 
But yeah, seeing that here, starting with Sun Card would definitely be an automatic lose condition. Okay. Sceptile. Um, not gonna lie, I kind of hope I, we get that. Except it'll be a pain to catch. Wait, is our Voltorb healed? It is. Okay, we don't need to stop here then. Oh, okay then. You know, before we go back to Pallet with this Oaks parcel, we can check to see what's going on on Route 22 without, you know... Since the Nuzlocke hasn't started yet, we can definitely t dip our toes in the water over there. Ugh, so much wa- Why do we walk so slow? Speed up button. Screw it. Okay, we get a Rhyhorn. And a Chimeco. I don't know if I should hope for the Chimeco, honestly. And another Rhyhorn. Is Rhyhorn common? This might not supposed not having been supposed to be here. And here we have Eradicate. Right, I think that's enough. I think we've dipped our toes in far enough. Okay, we also find Rapidash here. That is literal fire. I hope we don't get it, though. I hope we get something that's grass or water, because our first Pokemon is electric, and a Ground-type would just destroy us at this point. Oh, Nova! How is my old Pokemon? Well, it seems to be growing more attached to you. You must be talented as a Pokemon trainer. What's that? You have something for me? Ah, it's the custom Pokeball. I had it on order. Thank you. Gramps. I almost forgot. What did you call me for? Oh, right. I have a request for you two. On the desk, there is my invention, the Pokedex. It automatically records po data on Pokemon you've seen or caught. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. Nova and Akuno. Take these with you. You must com catch them to obtain complete data. I miss I blanked on trying on re on the first message. So here are some tools for catching wild Pokemon. When a wild Pokemon appears, it's fair game. Just throw a Pokeball at it and try to catch it. it. This won't always work, however. A healthy Pokemon can escape. You have to be lucky. To make a complete guide on all of the Pokemon in the world. That was my dream. But now, when I'm too old, I can't get the job done. So I want you two to fulfill my dream for me. Get moving, you two. This is a great undertaking in Pokemon history. Alright, Gramps. Leave it to me. Nova, I hate to say it, but you won't be necessary for this. I know. I'll borrow a town map from my sister. I'll tell her not to lend you one. <laughs> Don't bother coming around to my place after this. Always such a jerk. You know what? Just despite him, let's go talk to his sister right now. <laughs> I know we don't need the town map, but... <laughs> let's be that guy. 
All right, first encounter is a Rapidash. That sucks. Tackle. Okay, it was a crit. No wonder it did so much freaking damage. Don't burn me. All right, don't burn me. Frick you. All right, we got to catch it like now. Got to start thinking of names. Broke free immediately. That sucks. Get it in the red. I'm scared. Catch it, catch it, catch it. Frick. We are so dead if that Rapidash quick attacks us again. Or gets a crit ember. Yeah! Rapidash was caught. Can gallop at a top speed of 150 miles per hour. It can race as fast as a bullet train while ablaze. Mm. Hmm. What the frick do we name this Rapidash? Let's check name raiders. Blaze, Fire Horse. Mm. Okay, okay, I like this one. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. Gotta restink the or recalibrate this. Right, a name I found that I like is Killin. Or I hope that's how it's pronounced anyway. Not sure how to pronounce a Q without a U. Other than like a K. The Killin is a creature from Chinese mythology known as the Chinese Unicorn. It has one horns and appears covered in flames like Rapidash. It's also a good omen, which I'd hope by ra which hopefully this Rapidash will also be. <laughs> Uh, 
Uh, we're dead, aren't we? <laughs> we're going to run into a... We're going to run into a ride on and have it body this whole team. All right, give our newest member a good look. That was so scary. I have to buy Pokeballs now. Ability is Flash Fire, so abilities do not appear to have been messed with. Good to have an evolved Pokemon. Not holding anything. Quick Attack, Growl, Tail Up, Ember. We already seen all that. Timid is almost good for Ravdash. Timid, what? Lowers it physical attack? And boost speed? The speed boost would come in handy for sure. This Ravdash might be uh, just stay a special attacker then. Which would make Ember perfect. Alright, we need to heal. And hopefully don't run into any water types so we can trade up this Rapidash. Alternatively, also not run into other Rapidash because... That is going to suck! Wait. Do we have... Can they learn Ice Beam, I wonder? Nope. Predictable. But, you never know what all has been messed with. I definitely don't know what all has been messed with either. <laughs> a magic heart. <laughs> it is a water type, to be fair, but it it's it's magic heart. It's magic card, okay? It's nothing. It's going to just splash, so I'm just going to speed this up. Spam quick attack. Get it out of here. Such an easy win as well. I'm glad we didn't get magic card, even though it would have been ridiculously easy to catch. Because it would have been such a pain to level up and evolve. Like, Gyarados is good, but Magic Carp sucks. <laughs> Magic Carp's only good if you want to troll someone. In my case, I'd be trolling my viewers. If I were to actually use Magic Carp. To battle with. <laughs> like to do actual battle. <laughs> I would have laughed though if, I, if TM's got messed with. Like, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure TM42 is not supposed to have Ice Beam. Right, first move, we buy 10 Pokeballs. Then we run off to the left, grab this item behind the tree. And wouldn't you know, it's a Stardust. Pretty sure that's not normal. So items have definitely been messed with. Like, what items are in the overworld? Right, right, second order of business. Sell this. by three potions three antidotes three paralyzed seals and then leave some put back for a rainy day and then because we know there are Rhyhorn this way we're going this way. Talk to old man Jenkins here. 
So now that now I've had my coffee and now that's what I need to get moving. Hmm? What's the, what is that red box you have? Ah, so you're working on your Pokedex. Then let me give you a word word of advice. Whenever you catch a Pokemon, the Pokedex automatically updates its data. You don't know how to catch a Pokemon? Uh, bruh, bro, I do not see the two Pokeballs on my belt. I literally just caught a Rapidash earlier. I suppose I had better show you that. What, I suppose you're going to go catch a Nidoking or something. <laughs> It actually is a Nino King. <laughs> okay. Okay. Real talk, though. Hold on. Wrong button. You're going to go catch this Nino King at full health with one Pokeball. You know what? I'm pretty sure this he has, actually has a chance to fail to catch a Pokemon in a tutorial. There! Now tell me, was that was educational, was it not? Yeah, take this, too. Look, old man. We already know this stuff. Just, just, just stop talking, okay? Just stop talking. Stop talking. Let, let me be on my way. I have, I have a Pokemon to catch. And I clearly knew how to do that already. Get your ears checked. And your eyes. Um, I know I wanted a water type, but... Uh, mm, the seals start with any water type moves. Like, does it have any at level 3? Let me pull up data decks. I have an app on my phone called Datadex. It's literally a Pokédex app. Even has Legend Arceus Pokémon on it. All right, Seal. Where the frick are you? I know you're a Water type. There you are. Fun fact: It's only an Ice type after it evolves into Dugong. <laughs> right. It has headbutt. Headbutt, and that's it. It can only headbutt. And we have growl. Voltorb has the better defense, though. But we are faster. Either way. Just don't, like, crit headbutt me. Here, have an ember. I hope it burns. That was a tactical error. Probably. Just don't crit me, okay? Do not crit me. I'm going to go ahead and switch to red button. I'm pressing the red button. <laughs> I'm pressing the red button. Quite literally. <laughs> Quite literally pressing the red button. I... I misclicked. <laughs> Charge does nothing for us right now because we don't have electric type moves and it doesn't boost special defense till Gen 4. It sucks. <laughs> Right, I'm gonna chuck a Pokeball. If it doesn't catch, I'm gonna try to bring it into the red. I want the seal. And we get it. Ooh, this is good. I could even teach him Ice Beam right now, probably. A seal of approval. I'm not sorry. <laughs> Covered with light blue fur, it hides... It, its side is thick and tough. It is active in bitter cold of minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit.
We're going to repeat, you know what, we're going to look at dugong nicknames instead of seal nicknames. Because, if I have anything to say about it, this seal is going to be a dugong. Coldplay. You can use ice moves cold and... Polar speed. <laughs> the name Raider's funny. Okay, I'm not going to name it Borealis or Aurora because those are what I named my Auroras. Auroras is not in Gen 3. Sure. But why is one eye blinking? Stop winking. My eye is open. Okay. Fudge it. Looks like I'm on my own in naming this Pokemon. <laughs> You know what? 
I'm naming him Bridget. Because I don't got any better ideas. Yes, I heard you. I'm recording. Alright, let's take a look at Frigid the Dugong. Or, he's not a Dugong yet. He's a he's a seal still. Money nature, thick fat. Just knows head, but very much expected. <sighs> Can he learn an ice beam? <laughs> As expected, he can. At the wrong button. <laughs> uh, I don't know what to do about Route 22 yet. I think I'm going to have to step in Viridian Forest and, you know, hopefully get something I can use. But, apparently, I will finish recording later. So, we're gonna save, leave off for now. Yes, I know there's a different save file. Yes, I'm sure. Oh, frick. I accidentally said no. Right. I'll be back. All right, we're back. And no, your eyes do not deceive you. I've decided to just do regular face cam for the rest of the video because I just spent my time. Because I'm like, well, I'm already dressed because my nephew came to visit. So, you know, may as well just, you know, show my actual face. Quillen, Red Button, and Frigid. Hopefully I can figure out how Quillen's name is supposed to be pronounced. Because I can't help but feel that I'm saying it wrong. Right, before we go to Route 22, because there are Rhyhorns there, I say we should go to Viridian Forest. So that way we could get something that will hopefully help us catch a Rhyhorn if that's our first encounter. I miss the running shoes right now, not gonna lie. <laughs> Ooh, Tentacruel. Okay, okay. It's got Poison Sting and Constrict. That all you got, Tentacruel? That's not very cruel of you, is it? Yeah, avoid that supersonic. Oh no! Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. Weird. Headbutt. Oh, we don't outspeed. I got a little something in case we get poisoned. Don't you worry. Headbutt's gonna come in clutch here. Ow. We're not poisoned, so we're fine. Time to press the red button. 
<laughs> I love that I've named him Red Button. Move this a little further to my left. So that way I'm centered in the camera. Wait, don't attack. Don't be stupid. Just throw the ball. This is going really well. Frick, what do I name a tentacle? Uh, I don't know any jellyfish except for, like, Jelfonzo from Splatoon. Frick. Oh, I've accidentally said no. Well, I guess that's just things tentacruel until the name generator. Or, not name generator. Until the name raider. Liquid ooze. Grass types beware. Mmm. Jolly Nature not holding anything. Mm, don't know if Jolly helps it. I would argue that it does not. Because Jolly lowers special attack, I believe. And Everstone. How unhelpful. <laughs> I could have had a Medicham. I would like to leave, please. <laughs> I would like to leave, please. I would also like to have had the Medicham. It would have been even better for the rock types because Tentacruel doesn't have a water type move yet. <laughs> Right, time for another trip to the Pokemon Center, and then it's off to Route 22. Where we will wrap up the video. Speed up because I can. Alright, first encounter. Oh, okay. Okay, I like this. Not gonna lie, I like this. Frick, what was the name of my... What was the name of my Dragonite and freaking sword? What did I call that Dragonite? I can't remember. I already know what Dragonair's got too. Thunder Wave, Twister, Rap. I think Rap anyway. Um, yeah, nothing that's going to... I'm going to growl. Ow. Yep, there's the wrap. That's two crits in a row. What the frick? Good job I swapped, though. You think me? You think you've got me, but I have you. Confuse it. Yeah! <laughs> oh, there's no doubt about it. It's picking up my voice as well. Did I accidentally turn on... I don't think I accidentally turn on anything. 
Uh, nope. I don't have... Hmm. Weird. That means my voice is coming through twice. And I don't like that. Hit yourself. Do it. I'm going to go ahead and potion. You know what, I think I should be trying to poison it. It's got shed skin. Oh, we land supersonic twice, yo! The thing Tentacruel missed the supersonic against me. Oh yes, hurt yourself. Yeah. Do it again. Yeah! Alright, I need this ball to catch or for it to snap out. Oh yeah! Woo! Oh, this is so good! I'm gonna have a Dragon Knight. I don't remember what I freaking called my last Dragonite. That's going to suck because that means I'm going to have to pop in Pokemon Sword to find out. Okay. I looked up the name of that Dragonite I had in Sword. It is said to live in seas and lakes. Even though it has no wings, it has been seen flying occasionally. It has no wings, it says. Then what the frick are these on its head? <laughs> they look like links to me. Oh, fr There's no rewind, is there? I don't think there's a rewind. I pressed the wrong freaking button. Uh, I'd have to reload the get. Okay. The dragon name's name was supposed to be Mizuchi. I don't know what I'm naming the tentacruel yet. We're going to cross that bridge when we freaking get there. Nope, let's not go that way yet. Overall, I'd say things are going amazing. We got a rapid... We almost have a full team already. Oh, I love how it's going. We've got... Killing the Flash... Or the Rapid Ash. Level 3 with Flash Fire. With only Quick Attack, Growl, Tail Up, and Ember. Red Button, the Voltorb. S Timid Nature, I believe. Yep. With Static... Only got charge and tackle. Frigid, the level three seal with thick fat and headbutt. Tentacruel, who still needs to be named. Level five, liquid ooze, poison sting, supersonic constrict. I think Tentacruel must have replaced Metapod or Kakuna or something. And then we have Mizuchi the Dragonair, who. I failed to name. <laughs> so, 
as soon as we get to the name rare, Misuchi's getting his, getting his name. Lonely Nature, Shed Skin, Rap Lear, Thunder Wave Twister. Sure, we have a pair of water types on the team. But one of them's a poison type and one of them evolves into an ice type. So I'd argue that I've got a good deal of variety. Though I'm probably only going to run one water, water type on the team at a time, so... As soon as I get to seven Pokemon, either Tentacruel or Frigid is going to chill in the box. Anyway, next time you see me, I will have done some grinding. I don't know if I'm going to do a grinding montage or not, but you will see the results. So until next time, bye bye Oh, and if you liked the video, if you liked the video, hit the like button, subscribe for more because you know I'm putting more of this on the channel, and I will see you guys next time.